YouTube, what's up? Uh, second part of our let's play of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Um, the first part was really interesting. We got we got uh, two new two new endings. That was great. And now, we, yeah, we'll try to unlock some more All content. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I think there's a. No matter how hard Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I think that there's a way to go through the the window and you have another exit. But I never tried it. Oh, there, there we go. I think you just go there. Just walk onto the computer. I never did this in the in the original, so I don't know like how to get it. But I think it's this window if I'm right. Yeah, definitely. on <laughs> then what is that hard in the OG oh there we go at first Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> he then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Yeah. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here continue with the game or just sit in this spot forever and ever cheers yeah i think there's much more going on here right same but with pressing yes co this time Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Don't even... Oh, yeah. There we go. 
At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative This terms. is an already known so, uh, now that you're ending, here, by what the do way. You think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? N yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart <laughs> the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. <laughs> which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable. Beautiful. Why don't we just sit there, guys? This is just content right there. Okay, never mind. All right, so what should we do now? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> oh man <laughs> new new content <laughs> oh good you notice my sign yes i have something very exciting to show you even more new content guys You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step Ooh. even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Wow. <laughs> yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Of 
calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even <laughs> mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Okay. Uh huh. New content is out. New content part two is in. <laughs> Boring section of the chart. Cool red section of the chart, true. <laughs> oh yeah, the plants, yeah, I remember. Henry Parable 2. <laughs> That's like different logo ideas. Although I think this one look, looks looks awesome. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, two of them. Okay. Clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Sure, I man. figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half Life 2, Batman Arkham 2, Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, Dark Souls 2, Crash 2, Burnout 2, This Way to the Show Floor. New features! Then there's a freaking bus right there, what the fuck? Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Damn. Exclusive the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Wait, what? Is it just gonna say it's Stanley? <laughs> Is it just gonna say With Stanley? The Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Let's try it. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, ah. the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind. Forget whoever you are and simply become a person named Jim. Okay, I'm Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. <laughs> 
That's quite sad. Are you really, truly Jim right now? I am. If so, then please step forward and press the button. I am Jim. Jim. <laughs> oh. Yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described <laughs> you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon Jim. you'll start to Jim. lose all Jim. sense of who Jim. you actually Jim. are. Jim. 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 No! <laughs> I wanna be Jim. I'm sad. Well, we are not Jim anymore. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable <laughs> too. That would actually save me the work no, no, of no. this feature. Yeah, but, but, but it will sell bad, dude. Come on. Epilogue? What? No, 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 no. Please, no screenshots. A whole new face. Range is a new orange. Ray traced more of the same, but in a good way. Okay. The button that says the name of the player. Jump circle. Oh, the jump circle is still there. Infinite hole. What the fuck? The merch. <laughs> really? <laughs> can someone scan this QR code just to just to know what it what it what it does? <laughs> I have to try this out. Alright, let's go there. Free new plus easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. Infinite all. Oh, the jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your yeah. jumps the first time we saw the jump circle? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. I can't jump anymore. <laughs> Expo hall. Th th that doesn't even a map. Like, what the fuck? Jump circle. This map. Re achievement. Merge. Settings. World champion. Office decoration. Epilogue. Okay. Let's get the achievement. I, I'm always up for free achievement. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement oh, yeah. that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Does it really give me the achievement? Let's see. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement ah. is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. But I want the achievement! Man, 
and so many broken dreams. Can't even get the free achievement. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Uh The collectibles, yeah, true. Collect them all. What the hell? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. <laughs> I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah! Is that it? I guess so. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. What do you mean? It, it, it's based. The like, collectibles are based. Can I get this one? <laughs> okay, the infinite all. Oh wait, there's something more here. What the fuck is this? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Um... I think this is more corporate than this. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. <laughs> Happy 12th birthday, step niece, it is. Really? Motherfucker. <laughs> it even changed this, what the fuck? <laughs> or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No, no, I've made my decision, we're moving on. Fuck you. Hey Mav, <laughs> what's up? Hope you're doing well. Alright, so infinite all. Full team for C1, nice. GG. G fucking G. Okay. Yeah, but what happens if I go here like because it's infinite. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. I see. I don't know. I'm doing all right. I'm super happy to play this game again, <laughs> but with more things this time. Okay, yeah. Can just go there.
They teleport you constantly, so you feel like you're falling forever. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, right, let's try it out. Although it's it's like a beta feature, so I don't know if it actually works. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button oh. to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Yeah, but what if I wait a little bit more? Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Aha! Uh -huh. a very, very deep hole. Aha! Uh -huh. it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. No, you are. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, that, that's more correct. Then press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole, and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. I prefer now, that. I'm very excited to show <laughs> you even more of my ideas for the sequel. What if I fall down again? Oh, for heaven! You see, <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. <laughs> Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. <laughs> Maybe you, but not me. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Yeah. Well, there it is. <laughs> the shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a... How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth... I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Now I'm wondering, it will actually go up this time. Let's see. Hmm. Is oh, it doesn't work. Teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Still nothing. Well, I suppose, uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. 
You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. Yeah, but I want to go out. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Goodbye. Change your perspective, what the fuck? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay. Your perception. Your reality. Oh, there we go. Good old sepia. Change yourself? What the fuck? Oh, that screams for cameo. <laughs> no way! What the fuck? It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. I did, I did. Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. To the pit. To do it again? No way. Oh. Okay, I'm back here. Woo. <laughs> here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay, so we did the button. Uh, we got the infinite all. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> did you see that? Mostly infinite all. Find it ended. <laughs> nice. Thank you, narrator, for correcting it. For telling the truth.
Oh, but haha! <laughs> I can't. I can't go back. I like holes. I wanna get in the hole. No. I'm sad. No more infinite hole. This is so sad. Alright. Uh, what's next? There are new collectible now. Nah, nothing. I guess there's just like one collectible and that's it. Uh Oh the merch, yeah. Over there there's not not much going on, I think. I saw the new content, yeah. Okay. Oh, so the reassurance bucket. New feature. Let's see. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game huh, to be less sure. uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? <laughs> I think Thanks. that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I but can't get rid of it now. Well, I guess no. <laughs> Just gonna pick up that bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Come now, you've already made your choice. Oh. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. <laughs> I didn't choose badly, you chose badly. Jump circle, collectibles. Uh, office decorations. Oh yeah, that's what we just, yeah. Settings world champion, what the fuck? Settings world champion? How should it be? B2 is restaurant's bucket. Hmm. 
Yep, yep, lost. Yep. <laughs> You heard Jim in the game. The button that says Jim. Yeah, that's a nice feature. Settings world champion. What the fuck? Like, so Z is merch. So it's like merch is there. Russian's bucket it's there, so it should be this way. Don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um oh yeah, epilogue. Uh yeah, I think we did everything. Unless no okay. Let's go to the epilogue. Oh wait. Oh there we go. So I think it's World Champion. That's where it is. I didn't see the stairs. <laughs> Wait, what? Sag. Don't even go there. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the... Um well, we'll figure that out later. Really? Oh, maybe now I can go there. Maybe I just had to trigger this cutscene. Still not. Huh. Where should I go now? So the free achievement doesn't work. Still doesn't work. <laughs> we can't get the achievement. Okay, so now we actually want to go out of this. There should be a way out. Oh yeah, there's like an exit somewhere. I saw on the map. Exit, so it's E and E is... A9. Collectibles. Oh, it's there, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Yeah. I mean, I don't have any other choice. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together 
and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay Oh my experience. god, no. <laughs> it's going to be a disaster. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go, version two. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? Oh, this isn't a coherent video game. Give me that. It's a lot of gags. It's a collectible. I very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well... Insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. Yeah. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. What the fuck? <laughs> really? They really made the wall like new menu? <laughs> For a guy that doesn't even exist. What the hell? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company <laughs> in a big building where he was employee number four. The fucking balloons, man. Employee number 427's <laughs> job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. <laughs> Stanley something that would too. forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed <laughs> up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Can you still go out of this? Apparently, yes. But I want to continue. Because there might be like a collectible or an infinite... Oh, oh there's the bucket! <laughs> Stanley picked up the bucket. Nice. I, I feel I feel reassured now. Definitely feel reassured. Hell yeah. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left.
Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Wait, what? To <laughs> monetize free to play. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. All right. Ah, that's awesome. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. <laughs> Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Oh, yes. You found one of them. Yes. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. <laughs> Only four remaining. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the Bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I like how they like just <laughs> modified every single uh, dialogue to include the Bucket. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? <laughs> Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. <laughs> the monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do? or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. <laughs> he couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. Yeah, me and the bucket. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket.
But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. <laughs> and the sure. bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both really? wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. And... Oh. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. No! Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the Bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket. No! not to part with the Bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms, not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room, but at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Back at the start. <laughs> no, I can't live with the bucket. No. God damn it. Oh. Right. Um. So this is it, good YouTube. That was the Stanley Parable 2. Is that the great game? All right. Hope you enjoyed it and leave a comment in the live. Subscribe. All right. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.